The internet continues to narrow the gap between the creative artist and art buyer. The traditional sales channels of galleries, art fairs, and auction houses remain the principal selling outlets for fine art. Through their online presence, each has expanded its global markets and reach. As artists become more proficient in their online selling expertise, so too will their exposure and selling options. The most essential rule an artist should understand about thriving in his chosen profession is that the process is long-term, fraught with detours, and persistence becomes your best asset. In other words, you are going to hear no a lot, and that is not always welcome. No from galleries, no from competitions, no from art fairs, and sadly, no from buyers and collectors. There is no absolute route to success. The three most accessible and immediate assets an artist can and should be cultivating online are a social media presence, website, and expanded selling network. This sales network should include internet auction sites, affiliate partnerships, business and consumer exchanges, barter services, direct mail, licensing outlets, virtual art galleries, and portfolio listing services. As a fine artist, if you're serious about exposing and selling your work to the largest potential market capability, you've never had a better ally than the internet. Do most artists want to cross over into the full-time marketing of their work? Uh, the answer varies amongst artists, but the current financial realities are that marketing expertise and art production are mutually inseparable. In the process of separating hype from substance, Fresh client contacts and international exposure outlets previously accessible to only a minority of artists are becoming universally available. The principal major marketing shift that the Internet has eliminated is territorial sovereignty. Artists, galleries, and high-end outlets who have invested years in a substantial advertising investment towards cultivating a geographical territory have sound reasons to feel threatened using their traditional marketing approach. The internet is irrespective of geography. An artist or gallery reseller can sell just as easily to their regional marketplace as halfway around the world. This market shift has become the greatest distinction of internet-based sales. A local art gallery or artist has the identical opportunity to expand their sales base. Rather than viewing the internet as an intrusion into their limited slice of pie or customer base, the internet is creating sales and a substantially larger pie. Ignorance to the possible exploitation of the internet as a sales medium results in potentially lost sales opportunities. So where does one begin? Facebook? Pinterest? YouTube? Este? Website? The answer is yes, yes, and yes. And this is only the beginning of a profound wave of potentially fresh opportunities awaiting discovery. And so now it's up to you. The opportunities are there. It's time to embrace change and use the internet to your advantage. The ultimate guide to selling art online is an excellent starting point.